Thank you all for being here today. Your support of the Chester County Kids Voting Program is very much appreciated. I also want to thank all the students who sent in questions for our program. Every question was reviewed and considered. There were over 70 of them. <laughs> Due to time constraints, we narrowed it down to just 12. Um, otherwise, this would have become longer than a presidential debate. <laughs> I also want to thank my co-hosts, Abby, Sophia, and Wendy for being here with me. You're helping me be a little less nervous around our esteemed guests. Especially though, I wanna thank our esteemed guests, Senator Comitta, Commissioner Maxwell, and Mr. Leon Spencer for taking the time out of your very busy schedules to help educate the students of Chester County on the role of mayor in our county. We'll start with introductions. Uh, first, um, we'll start with our student interviewers. Would you please state your first name only and what grade you're in? Abby, you'll go first. My name is Abby and I am in third grade. Excellent. Sophia? My name is Sophia and I am in second grade. Very good. And Wendy? My name is Wendy and I'm in fifth grade. Excellent. Would our former mayor panel introduce yourselves along with which town or borough you were mayors of? Senator Kamita. Thank you uh, so much. I am delighted to be with everyone. My name is Carolyn Kamita. I'm currently a state senator representing um, our neighbors in Chester County. I was mayor for two terms, that would be eight years in the borough of Westchester, which is the county seat of Chester County. Yes. Commissioner Maxwell. Hi, I'm Josh Maxwell. I'm uh, currently a Chester County Commissioner, um, representing all of Chester County. Before that, I was mayor of uh, Senator Committee's hometown of Downingtown uh, for 10 years. Excellent. And Mr. Spencer. Yes, good afternoon. My name is Leon Spencer. I was the mayor of the borough of Kennett Square, Pennsylvania for 11 years. Excellent. Okay. And I am uh, Mrs. Kathy Gurney. I'm a special events coordinator in the um, communications and learning solutions division of the Chester County Intermediate Unit. All right. We're just going to dive right in now. Um, this question is for all of our former mayors. Um, we'll start with Senator Kamita first, answering the question. Um, this question was asked by a lot of kids. Um, Madeline, Connor, Aiden, Wendy, and others asked, why did you want to be a mayor? Senator Kamita. I was a borough council member in the borough of Westchester. There are seven borough council members and they are elected it, by neighborhood. And so I was elected by my neighbors to represent um, my neighbors on Westchester Borough Council and hadn't really thought about running for mayor. I loved being a borough council member and helping my neighbors. And one day I had lunch with the president of Westchester University, um, Dr. Madeline Wing Adler, we were trying to solve a problem um, about a parking garage that the university was building um, right in one of our neighborhoods. And so I asked her if we could get together and talk about it and see if we could figure out a good way to um, have our neighbors' voices heard so that everyone would feel more comfortable and have more input on this parking garage that was being built. So she said to me, Carolyn, what will you do next? Run for mayor? And I said, well, Dr. Adler, I never thought about running for mayor. And I said, the mayor doesn't have a vote. Um, Borough Council has the vote. So why would I want to be mayor? And she said, well, I can tell you that the mayor has a tremendous opportunity to bring people together to improve the community. And I said to her, hmm, I will think about that. 
So I talked with lots and lots of people and I decided that she was right and that I could use some of my skills and talents to help bring people together to improve the community. And she was absolutely right. And I'm sure my uh, mayor, mayor colleagues, um, Mayor Spencer and Mayor Maxwell would agree with me. Um, and I, I loved uh, being in a position to be able to do that. Mm. Great, very interesting story. Uh, Commissioner Maxwell, why did you want to be a mayor? Well, I was just finishing up college and I was on our, a volunteer board called our, our planning commission. Um, and I thought we could use some new energy um, and a new perspective in downtown. town. And some folks that I uh, liked had been around the town a long time, encouraged me, uh, despite my age, um, to, uh, uh, to jump in and see if we could uh, start marketing our hometown a little bit better and bring some more jobs uh, to Downingtown and a train station and projects like that. So I'm not nearly as thorough a thinker as Senator Kamanda. I uh, was more uh, 25 and on a whim and, and decided that uh, mayor of your hometown is not something that comes by very often. Um, and what a joy that would be uh, to do for a little bit of time. And I thought Downingtown could uh, use a little um, uh, more energy. Excellent, thank you. And Mr. Spencer. Well, thank you. I had absolutely no intention of becoming a mayor. I was on the Kennett Consolidated School Board. And simultaneous to that, I was uh, on the board for the Chester County Intermediate Unit. That's the way that works. Each school district in the county has a representative on the Intermediate Unit Board. So I was doing double duty and thought that I was doing enough. And as I got toward the end of my tenure as a school board director, my predecessor in the mayor's office developed a health issue and decided that at the end of his, the first year of his second term that he would no longer pursue uh, the mayor's office, that it was time for a change. And I was encouraged by some folks to consider it. Uh, I knew nothing about being a mayor, uh, even with Google in place. <laughs> Uh, I, I knew nothing. And then it dawned on me, I come from a very strong uh, Christian spiritual background that says if you have the ability to do something, it's wrong not to do it. And so uh, fortunately for me, I'd been blessed with some leadership skills. And it seemed that I should then apply those to this opening that, that, that was made available. And so that's how it started. And that's what got me in. Excellent. Wow, all, all kind of not really planned, <laughs> just kind of opportunities presented themselves and people um, encouraged you and that's, that's great. Okay, so um, this next question is for Senator Kamita. Abby, I think you're going to ask this one. Asher wanted to know, what did you do in college? For example, did you plan to become a mayor? Thank you, Abby. Um, I was a, um, an education major, elementary education and special education at Westchester State College, which is now Westchester University. And so my plan and what I ended up doing was to be a teacher. And I taught in the Octorera School District, which is in Chester County. And I taught there for 12 years and I loved it. And um, then my uh, children were born and I was trying to decide, you know, how else will I continue my public service? And education was my first 12 years of public service. And then, well, um, I was working at the United Nations, volunteering with a health and environment organization. I thought maybe I'll continue or do more work there and I still do work with them. Uh, but then I also thought when I became involved with borough council and then as mayor, maybe I can think globally and act locally. And so I, um, I ran for borough council. And then as I told you my story of becoming mayor, but I will tell you, that once an educator, once a teacher, always a teacher. And so on borough council, 
I always, um, and now as a, and as mayor, and as a state representative and as a senator, I've always tried to make sure, Abby, that I am educating myself mm. and helping um, to educate all of the community about issues so we can make really well-informed decisions um, that are going to really help people. And so we need um, our students to educate us about what you think about certain ideas. We need your parents and teachers and everyone to be participating. So um, I continue to be a teacher and a student um, <laughs> in all of my roles and a listener. Yeah, excellent, thank you. Okay, this next question is for Commissioner Maxwell and I'm gonna go ahead and ask that. Um, one of our third graders wanted to know, did you have any jobs before you became a mayor? Um, I had a lot of jobs. Uh, I ran a hotel for five years, um, and I uh, I went to graduate school while I was mayor at Penn, and I made tables um, on the weekends at nights at a, a furniture store, part oh live edge table. So I got really good at doing carpentry, um, um, and I was a student, a grad student at Penn, um, and then um, I ended up working in international development for a USAID contractor where I um, develop education projects in Nigeria, Mozambique, um, and a little bit in Tunisia and Iraq. Um, so I manage some, uh, some of those projects that help to get uh, third, fourth, and fifth graders um, a good education in, in rural parts of Africa. Wow, that's, that's fascinating. Thank you. Um, this next question is for Mr. Spencer. I think Sophia is going to present that to you. A third grader in the Great Valley School District had a very interesting question. How old do you need to be a mayor? Well, you're asking a very good question, and I hope my colleagues can help me with this. <laughs> I don't know of any age limitation in the state of Pennsylvania. Now, my guess would be that one should be 18 voting age in order to uh, to, to do that, uh, if you're running for governor in Pennsylvania, for example, you have to be 30 and the other offices are, are, have their age limitations. But, the, but 18 years old is the, is the answer I'm going with and I'm sticking with it. It looks like we're getting two head shakes. So I think that's probably accurate. <laughs> now this question is for everyone again, for um, all our former mayors. Um, and it's somewhat of a, a delicate question, I, I, I think, but I'm sure the information is out there somewhere. So it's probably public knowledge, but how many people voted for you? And we'll start with uh, Senator Comita. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. And students who asked that question. Um, when I ran for mayor, I was the um, bipartisan candidate. So I was the Democratic candidate. I won um, the Democratic primary. So I was Democratic candidate for mayor. And I also won the Republican primary as a write-in. Hmm. So I do not have the exact numbers of people who voted for me. We have a um, population in Westchester is about 19,000, okay. um, plus some students who are not counted in the, in the census um, here in, in uh, Westchester, but can vote here. And um, in an off-year election, we might have 30% of our voters voting. So um, I don't have the exact numbers, but I am very proud that I was um, the first woman elected mayor in the borough of Westchester and the first, um, and so far only, uh, bipartisan elected mayor of Westchester. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Commissioner Maxwell. Uh, I think well, I ran three times. I think between 1,600 voters and 2,000 voters, that counts about 9,000 people. Um, so um, increased each election from the first one, which is kind of what you want to see when you're uh, 
double check on the job performance. So I think we got to around 2000 for county commissioner. It was all Chester County and that was around 68,000. Oh, wow. Okay. Very good. And Mr. Spencer. I haven't any idea. And that's a fair answer. Um, as indicated before, uh, my predecessor completed the first year of his second term. Each term is four years completed the first year of his second term. And then I was initially appointed to fulfill the role of mayor, but subsequent to that, I had to be elected and I was unopposed. So um, I don't, I don't know. My first full term as mayor for your term, which would have been years four through seven or three through seven, I was also unopposed. So uh, again, couldn't tell you the number. The last time through there was some opposition. It was a write-in candidate. I'll only say that that individual did not fare very well. So uh, uh, I was fortunate to uh, to win all three times. Excellent. Yeah, you got enough to win, right? That's that's the important thing. 